this time I will share a new topic related to the uh, treatment of COVID-19. This uh, treatment is still in clinical trial, but it is promising. The title is EPEG and AAPRP therapy for COVID-19. As we are facing another wave of COVID-19 case in this uh, pandemic, uh, today I would like to share about plasma-based therapy that can be used to treat the severe to critical COVID-19 uh, patient. The EPEG and AAPRP therapy. First, we will talk about the EPEG. EPEG is a blood product containing polyclonal immunoglobulin G. EPEG therapy involves plasma derivative product to provide immune protection against a pathogen. And this therapy used to treat many disorders on neurology, hematology, immunology, etc. EPEG is relatively safe compared to steroid or immunosuppression uh, therapy. Let's see the figure in the right side. The figure describes the part of EPEG that is consists of a PEBG, uh, this PC, and this one is a complement PC binding and others molecule. Basically, the rationale for the use of EPEG in SARS-CoV-2 infection is modulation of inflammation. Now let us see the plasma therapy for COVID-19 on this uh, table. The table describes the differences between three plasma-based uh, therapy, comparison plasma therapy, hyperimmunoglobulin, EPEG according to the uh, preparation, donor, usage, scale, staffy, standardization, benefit, and limitation. Now let's have a look one by one of uh, this uh, therapy and we'll uh, start from the compilation uh, plasma. Compilation plasma, a uh, preparation of this uh, therapy is directly plasma transfusion and the donor is individual seropositive for a specific uh, pathogen and you say is a treatment of specific pathogen. A scale is individualized uh, therapy and safety is limited viral in activation and standardization is potential effectiveness of virus by a donor and benefit of uh, this uh, therapy is targeted therapy in a specific infection. Limitation of this uh, therapy, less potent, minimally uh, processed, fewer virus, specific antibody per unit and limited donor availability. Then let's move to hyperimmunoglobulin. In this case, preparation is full human plasma. A donor is individual seropositive for a specific pathogen. A use is a treatment of a specific pathogen. A scale is mass produced a therapy, a safety is extensive viral inactivation and standardization is guaranteed antibody level. A benefit of this therapy are a targeted therapy in specific infection and highly concentrate. Limitation of this therapy is limited donor availability. Then let's move to EPEG. 
In this case, we can see that donor is a general population and use is immunoglobulin replacement immunodeficiency and immuno, I mean the immune modulation. A scale is mass produce a therapy and a safety is extensive uh, viral inactivation and standardization is provide passive immune protection or implementation control. Benefit of uh, this uh, therapy are provide widespread protection against common infection, large donor pool, and commercial availability. And a limitation of this uh, therapy is absence of specific antibody uh, titer against a novel uh, pathogen. Several uh, studies report successive high dose EP EG therapy for severe COVID-19 pathogen. Based on observation, high dose EPEG given at early stage of clinical deterioration could block the rapid progression of the disease. Let's see the figure in the right side. The figure described the proposed mechanism of the EPEG treatment from the literature. Let's uh, see this one. Neutralizing antibody prevents SARS-CoV-2 spike protein from attaching to the AC2 receptor, inhibiting viral entry into uh, the cell. For uh, this one, immune complex consisting of viral antigen and antiviral sub-neutralizing antibodies can activate PC receptor on innate immune cell, such as macrophage in the lung. And the last is a proposed mechanism whereby EPEG exert anti-inflammatory action include a saturation by PC receptor binding anti idiotypic binding to antiviral antibodies and binding of pro-inflammatory cytokinase, uh, cytokinase, yes. Then let's move to autologous activated platelet rich plasma, or we call that one as a EEPRP uh, therapy. This uh, therapy is commonly used to treat alopecia and other uh, skin uh, condition. A platelet rich plasma treatment use injection of patient on a platelet to accelerate release of growth factor and repair the cell. And PRP produce anti-inflammatory effect for tissue regeneration. AAPRP is prepared from venous whole blood and after the platelet poor part is discarded, activators such as thrombin or calcium are added to the subsequent plasma. PRP will decrease EL1B, EL6, EL8, and TNF alpha inflammatory gene expression. So, what is the rationale of AAPRP you say on COVID-19 uh, treatment? EPRP is effective to control cytokine release syndrome on uh, several COVID-19 uh, pathogen. Cytokine storm can cause complication such as ARDS, sepsis, and respiratory uh, failure. You say of ARP, ARPRP treatment combined with a vegan antiviral drug for 
COVID-19 treatment is currently on trial and expected to be finished in December 2021. In this treatment, no donor needed and only require basic laboratory equipment. A recent study revealed that EEPRP approved the clinical condition of severe patient the comorbidity. Now let's see the rational usage of uh, this uh, drug. Regarding the medication and treatment for COVID-19 uh, patient, since there are still limited data and the following protocol, one must consider the rational use of drug before deciding the necessary uh, treatment. Selection of medication should meet the appropriate need to the clinical condition with proper dose and uh, duration. You say of EPG, AAPRP, and other regenerative medicine for COVID-19 treatment are still test on a clinical trial. In Indonesia, this treatment can be used as an alternative only for severe and critical COVID-19 pattern with a complication. This, this treatment bears some known and unknown risks risk management should be done, considering the benefit versus risk and inform or consent. Now, let's see rational use of drug in this uh, parameter. See from uh, this one, right indication, right dose, right duration of treatment, right information to patient, right frequency of administration, right road of administration, and also right follow-up. Then before the EPEG and EEPRP treatment are decided, the doctor must consider this thing to minimize the risk and maximize the healing potential for the patient. So this is a new a treatment for COVID-19 as far as we know from the information that we got from WHO and from the literature. That's my explanation this time hopefully useful and uh, thank you.